consider for a moment the cultural divide in America and ask yourself this question, which is the subject of this podcast. Is there a pathway back to peace? Is there a pathway where the political divide in America could be healed so that everyone shares a common culture and feels proud to be an American and wants the country to, to do well? I think the answer to that question is no. And here's why. I don't think we can ever go back to a time when the people trust the media. And that's just one example among many. I also don't think we can go back to a time when people trust the opposite political party. You know, Democrats are enraged with Trump and enraged with Republicans, and conservatives are enraged with Democrats and what they see as the extreme corruption of Hillary Clinton and the DNC and Obama and so on. I get the feeling that this can't be healed in any obvious or readily available way. Because again, how do you go back to fixing the reputation, let's say, of the FBI? Who, who can trust the FBI ever again, given that James Comey ran it and he was a treasonous traitor and he lied and he leaked, even when he wrote in his own memos that he's not a leaker, he's not a weasel, and then he's there weaseling and leaking? He's a leaking weasel. That's what he is. Uh, who can trust the FBI anymore, frankly, right? Who can trust the Department of Justice at this point? Once you realize what they've done and how they've covered up and how they've delayed turning over evidence to Congress in these investigations and the, the IG investigations and so on, how do you trust the DOJ? And the more we learn about the way government was weaponized under Obama with the IRS and the EPA all being weaponized and many other schemes and scams inside the government, you know, they, look, they conspired, they, they fabricated uh, fake evidence for a FISA warrant to spy on American citizens. Obama was part of that. Loretta Lynch was part of that. Hillary Clinton was part of that. You talk about blatant violation of law, but they did that. And I don't think that Americans can ever go back to a time where they had much faith in the rule of law. Because when that faith is shattered, you know, you, you just don't go back to trusting that person ever again. I mean, I don't know what a good example would be, but I don't know, let's say, you, let's say you have a friend and you think your friend is totally normal and then one day your friend, you, you discover your friend, uh, you walk in to your friend's house and they're snorting coke and banging a prostitute and, and all of a sudden it's like your image of your friend is totally shattered. It's like, what? I, I thought you were this other person and now I realize you're a coke snorting, prostitute banging you know, crazy person, you can never go back to trusting that friend because that's always going to hang over that relationship, right? Well, unless you're into that stuff too. and In that case, that's, that's your bro, I guess. But I'm talking about normal people who don't do that kind of stuff. But, you know, government, the, the reputation of so much of government has been shattered and the media has been shattered. And just the rule of law, belief in the rule of law has been shattered. I mean, just speaking from my own experience, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I believe in a lawful society. I want people to be civil. I want people to have equal rights, but also equal justice. I think that the rule of law should apply equally to everyone, including powerful, protected, elite people. But what I've learned in the last few years is that there is no justice for, for the powerful people. Actually, I've known that for a long time. I'm not naive. This isn't like my first rodeo, right? But we're seeing it on display here in a way that we've never really seen before, not this egregious. We're seeing that the, the laws really do not apply to people like Hillary Clinton or Loretta Lynch or James Comey or Robert Mueller. You know, the, the entire special prosecutor was created based on a lie, a James Comey lie. A, a criminal act of leaking classified documents in order to get Robert Mueller appointed as a special prosecutor. The entire thing is based on a lie. And it just proves the point that we can't trust government and we can't even trust the rule of law. We can't trust the court system to uphold the rule of law. We can't trust that our rights will be protected in this society. 
And we can't trust that those who break the laws will ever be held to justice or ever be held to account for their, for their crimes. This is the breakdown of society. When people across the country start to come to the same conclusions that I've just laid out here, the rule of law breaks down. When people don't trust the media, they don't trust the education system, they don't trust, you know, on the left, they don't trust the president at all. Uh, they don't trust people who are Trump supporters. They don't trust gun owners. And people on the conservative side don't trust any Democrats. They don't, you know, what I'm saying is these two parties can barely talk to each other at this point. In fact, the whole effort of censorship on the part of the left through Google censorship and Facebook and YouTube and so on is because they don't want conservatives to be able to talk at all. They believe that they should just shut you up. You have no right to speak, they say. How dangerous is that? And yet, that's where we are today. And when you can't talk to each other, this is the prelude to civil war. Uh, uh, what is a war? What is a war? A war is when, when two parties have such extreme disagreement that they cannot even sit down and discuss solutions together. When they can't discuss solutions, they just unleash kinetic weapons and they just start shooting each other and bombing each other and now you have war. When the disagreement is so severe, you end up with a war or a civil war or maybe acts of domestic terrorism on the part of leftists leading to civil war. I mean, you practically got it right now. You got leftists uh, sabotaging the, the homes of, of you know, EPA administrators or NRA um, spokespeople. Their, their homes are being ransacked, you know, by these crazy left-wing mobs. Uh, these are, these, this is a prelude to war. We're starting to see the violence from groups like Antifa, for example. So, but the, the problem is I don't see a way back to peace because the left cannot engage in rational discussions anymore. They cannot, they don't accept reason. They don't accept evidence. They don't work off the rule of law. They're not interested in facts. They're only interested in, in their delusions and claiming that those are the only facts that are allowed. So how do you convince leftists to once again believe in America or to believe in the Constitution or to believe in the electoral process when they hate all those things? Remember, they, they, hate, uh, they hate the Constitution. They hate America. They hate the Bible. They hate the Electoral College. They hate uh, democracy, in essence. They don't want democracy. They want, they want to run an authoritarian tyranny system that they control. That's what they want. They want to censor everyone with whom they disagree. This is what the left has become today. How do you sit down and reach peace with those kind of enraged, irrational, deranged lunatics? And I think the answer is you don't. I think you have to defeat them. I think we've come to that point. The only answer here is to defeat the left. Make sure they don't have power over the rest of us. Make sure they don't have the White House and they don't have Congress and so on. Because if they do, if they win the White House in 2020 or maybe 2024, I think you have a real civil war on your hands right there. Because I think that the left only knows how to weaponize government. The left cannot run government in any honest, ethical way. They don't know how to. They are tyrants. They're authoritarians at heart. You know, inside every leftist is an authoritarian just screaming to get out and gain power and gain control and, and then dominate over you in uh, unethical and immoral ways. That's, that's what the left is. And I don't think that, I think half of America will no longer tolerate being ruled by authoritarians who have a D beside their name. That's my guess. That's my take. What do you think? Post your comments. Anyway, uh, hope this has given you something to think about. You can hear more podcasts at healthrangerreport.com. Check out my new video podcast website called Counterthink. Dot com. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger. Take care. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. 
It's at healthrangerstore.com.